Josie Moran, pure Oregon, pure <laughs> Josie Moran, pure Oregon milk. Oh, I can't say that right. Josie Moran, pure Oregon milk. Argon, argan, argan, or argon. I don't know. Josie Moran, pure Oregon milk. Why can't I say that? Josie Moran, pure Oregon milk. Josie. Josie Moran, pure argon milk. Ar what? I can't say that! Pure argon milk. Argan, argon. Hey, good friend! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Destiny Moshe. And today I'm going to bring you this glowy summer, bronzy, whatever you want to call it, makeup routine for all my dry skin ladies out there who always have a question on why does my face look cakey or what do I use so my face won't look so dry during the summertime and what products to use and how to use them <laughs> so if you want to learn how I do that and my tips and tricks and products then just keep on watching and before you go any further if you want to know what I use make sure you hit that subscribe button okay <laughs> so without further ado Let's go. So the key to having healthy looking makeup is always starting with your skin first. So for me, in my dry skin, what I like to do is at night, I exfoliate and I moisturize and cleanse my face so that it can seep through my skin during the night while I sleep. And that way when I wake up, my skin will be healthy looking and moisturized for when I apply my makeup. The Josie Moran Pure Argon Milk or argan milk one of them but it's their intensive hydrating treatment and this is like my second mini bottle i don't know why i'm so cheap and won't get the full size but this is my baby this is my second bottle of it and i absolutely love it so if you're a dry skin girl i definitely recommend this i love it like i said this is my second bottle so for my makeup application i've already primed um and for primer, I'm using my Forest 7 Rose Gold Elixir. I usually use the Rose, um, I usually use the Forest Sally Unicorn Essence, but I'm all out of that. I was, I had, I had bought a mini of this and a mini of the Unicorn Essence because I wanted to see which one I would like better, and I definitely love the Unicorn Essence better as a primer. But since I'm all out of that and I forgot to buy some more, I use the Rose Gold Elixir. So that's primer and that's my moisturizer that I'm using as of right now. And next is applying the foundation. So ignore the messiness is how you know I use her a lot. I use my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and this is the shade 420. So what I do first is I put a few drops of makeup on my face or foundation or foundation on my face. And for me, um, I feel that it's best when I use a brush to blend out my foundation because for one, this is a matte foundation and it does dry pretty fast. So, um, I usually use a brush to apply mine and spray it out. That's how I get the best application in my opinion. So as you can see, even though I have on a matte foundation, my skin is still dewy looking and it's still smooth. Now it's time for highlighting or brightening your eyes, your face, whatever you want to call it, whatever. 
or whatever. I use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this is the shade Amand. Amande, however you want to say it. It's up to you, but I say Amande. But a lot of folks say it's Amand. But, you know, this is what I use, okay? And for this application, I use a damn beauty blender to blend it out. The next thing I do is set my concealer with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I have yet to stop using this powder ever since I bought it like this is my staple and my makeup routine I have to use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder so what I do is I take my beauty blender I dip it inside my powder and I blow some of the excess off I know you can see all the dusty flurries flowing around but that's what I do I blow it off and then Instead of starting right here in the middle of my face, I start on the, not the middle of my face, but you know, my highlighting area, I start in the middle. So this part will have the most powder and it won't look caked up like right under the eye. And I don't bake. I press this into my skin. So, you see how I still have my nice yellow highlighted area, but it doesn't look caked up. Now we have a nice highlighted face without the cake. Another thing I do not do during the summer is I don't cream contour, which I barely cream contour in the first place, um, unless I'm just trying to get that beat beat sculpted look, but most but most of the time during my makeup routine, during the winter, summer, fall, it doesn't matter. I skip the whole cream contour and I just powder contour. Well, basically bronze, however you want to say it. That's, this is what I do. So, um, I use my Black Radiance Contour Palette and I just dip it in the contour shade, which is this shade right here. As you can see, I need another one because she on oh, well, she done hit pen. And I just carve my face. My next step after all that is highlighting. Now my normal highlight that I use is MIA at the moment. So what I'm going to use today, I think I'm going to use the highlight in my um, contour palette. And I'm going to use my, what is this, my Morphe M438 brush. And I just do the high points of my cheek. And then I do my little nose. Can't see. I do my little nose like this. And then I do the center of my nose bridge without putting excess, um, what, without putting more powder on my brush. I just do my temple, like right above my eyebrow on both sides. 
and then I use a little bit of that to go on the center of my forehead. So every light point will hit it. A lot of people don't do this stuff, but I do do my chin and my cupid's bow. You know, when you start feeling yourself, you have to let little feeling yourself dance. You know. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and now for the finale, my favorite part of my dry skin, dewy skin routine is her, she, her, right here. My Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I had to give me another one of these. I cannot go another day without this. I finished my first one. Another thing about being cheap, I need to go ahead and get the full size. This is my favorite skin mist. Like this, although, you know, our face still looks pretty good. This just brings out more of the, um, more of the dewiness that the powder took away from setting our face and powder contouring so spray away there we go so you see how she brings the glow back into the skin and she brings the highlight out like boom bam girl what I'm here shine pop on some lashes and you're good to go Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys incorporate some of my tips and tricks and maybe even my products in your makeup routine. Um, let me know what kind of skin you guys have down below. Is it dry? Is it oily? Is it a combination? And let me know the tips and tricks that you guys use to combat this heat in the summertime. Don't forget to share, like, and if you haven't already, subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. I love you guys. Bye.